everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to make these planner slash journal fabric pen holders. I think these are a lot of fun. They're a great project for beginner sewers like myself, and they don't take much fabric. All you're going to need is one piece of fabric, two and a half by 10 inches, two pieces of fabric, two and a half by seven and a half inches. You're going to want to line your fabric pieces with some light interfacing. I recommend heat and bond light interfacing. I'll have that linked in the description below this video. And for you Cricut Maker users, I have a design space file for you. You can go ahead and cut these pieces out with your Cricut Maker, which makes it super simple. And again, go ahead and apply the interfacing before you cut. And you can find that file in the description below this video as well. Now let's get started assembling. Okay, so we have our three pieces. This is our two and a half by 10, and these are our two and a half by seven and a half. We're going to take the two and a half by 10 and just fold it in half. And then you're going to take it over to your machine and just sew along that folded edge. This is the folded edge. This is the open edge. We're just going to sew about a quarter inch straight across that folded edge. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, so we have our folded edge. Now we're going to take the folded edge and place it towards the middle of one of our longer pieces, lining up the bottom. That's going to form our pocket. Okay, so we got pretty side up of the two and a half by seven and a half. We got pretty side up of the one we folded in half. And now we're going to take our piece of elastic. Now you need to measure your um, planner and kind of see how long you want this to be. I am using a 10 inch, let me measure again. Yes, this is a 10 inch piece of elastic. And what we're going to do is place it down on the bottom, right in the center. And if you want to just check yourself a little bit, you can just fold it in half, finger crease, and then you know exactly where that center is. So we're gonna place the elastic, and if it has a good side and a bad side, or a good side and a wrong side, you can put it pretty side down. And we're just going to clip that or pin it right there in the center. It's like that. And then we're going to take our last piece and we're going to put that pretty side down on top. Add that to our sandwich. And then this side that's going to have the tail sticking out, but go ahead and fold it down so you don't accidentally sew over it and put a clip or a pin in there. If you want to clip the sides, go ahead. I find it easier just to um, clip the top and the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and this end with the long tail. We're just going to start like a quarter inch in and we're going to sew a back stitch. So just two or three stitches and then continue our stitch down. Continue our stitch all the way across. You might want to back stitch over where that elastic is a couple times, then keep going all the way up. Turn the corner just a couple of stitches and back stitch. So you're going to leave this area between my fingers. You're going to leave that unsewn where that purple clip is. So I'm just going to sew here, 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 and just barely in. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have sewn. I started right here, sewed all the way down, around, around, and turned the corner. I'm going to trim off each of the corners, being careful not to cut my stitches. But you want to trim all four corners. It's just going to give you some nicer ends when you turn this right side out. All right, so we're going to take that clip off. And now we're going to turn this right side out. I find it kind of easier to kind of pull on this and it will start turning in on itself, like so. And then once you get it going, you can pull it, kind of pull it down over itself and it'll turn right side out for you, like so. All right, now you're going to want to take a pen or I have a chopstick here something that's not too sharp to go over the edges but we can push those corners out want to make sure you get them nice and turned right side out and don't forget those ones up top that's why i wanted you to go ahead and turn that corner so 
now we have our corners. Perfect. Now you want to take it to your ironing surface, flatten it out, and give it a nice press. Everything's smoothed down. Then you're going to take that open end, and it should naturally fold in, but if it doesn't, you might have to give it a little bit of help. And you should fold right into those corners that you made. Once you have those folded in, press those. All right. Now, before we go any further, we're going to fold this in half and finger press right down that pocket just so that you have a crease. If you can't see it, fold it the other way. You might want to even use your... I'll just hit it with the iron real quick. And that's just giving me a straight center line. And I'm just going to sew a stitch right down that center line. Okay, so it should be looking something like this. You've got now two pockets for your writing utensils. One there, one there. All right, you're going to take your elastic and fold it back on itself like this to make sure you have it totally flat and then wrap it back around and tuck it right inside that opening. So before you clip it down or sew it down, make sure it's not twisted. It's totally flat. Once you have it in position, go ahead and clip it or pin it, whatever works for you. And now we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to top stitch all the way around here all the way around here, all the way around, and across that top. Again, you might want to back stitch over the elastic. Make sure when you sew that you don't sew over your elastic. So you're going to sew like this, then you're going to move it out of your way. Sew across there, move it out of your way. Sew, sew. So just make sure you don't sew over this elastic. You don't want to sew it down like this. So just keep moving it out of your way. I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. So here is the finished pen holder. Should look something like this. All you do is slip it over your planner or your journal. And add your writing utensils. So that's it guys. These are super simple, right? I think these are a lot of fun. They don't take much fabric. They're a great scrap buster. And you can mix and match your fabrics. You can make the pocket the same as the fabric. Mix and match your elastics. Just lots of possibilities. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like to see more photos and more information on this product, visit me at laurienunamaker.com on my blog. I would love to see you there. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.